Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Cadex Nebula, a nano-sized HD FEV camera which is specially designed by Cadex for the DJI HD FEV transmission system. In this video I'm going to go over its features and specs, show you some full-sized footage, and in a separate video that was already released, I've compared it side by side with the standard DJI camera. First of all, the Nebula is using the same coaxial connector of the standard DJI camera and it is compatible with both Vista and Air units. It is available in black or silver and you can get it either as a standalone camera or as a bundle with the Vista transmission system. When you get it with the Vista, you can choose between 8 and 12 cm long coaxial cables which are now coated in order to protect its delicate wires. In addition, along with the camera, you are getting a nano to micro sized rubber adapter and screws that are going to enable you to mount the camera with and without the adapter. In terms of specs, the highlight of the camera is of course its size. Its back dimensions are 14 by 14 mm. The distance between the back of the camera to the front of the lens is 20.8 mm. And it weighs 5.2 grams, so it's 6.4 grams lighter than the standard DJI camera. In addition, it is using an M8 lens, unlike the standard DJI camera, which is using an M12 lens. Its supported resolution is 720p at 60 frames per second so it doesn't have the 1080p 60 frames per second recording capabilities of the standard camera. Its latency is 32 milliseconds, which is in between the low latency and high quality mode of the standard camera. As of the latest firmware update, which is at the moment of shooting this video, 1.00.05, which you will have to install in order to support the nebula, its settings are not adjustable. So for example, you won't be able to flip the image using the settings of the goggles, and even though it is using a 4x3 CMOS sensor, the aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9. Anyway, this is the current situation, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I think and hope it's going to be changed on a future firmware update. Now, while the Nebula is compatible with both Vista and Air Units, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to use it with the Air Units since the onboard recorded video doesn't look as nearly as good as the standard camera, except at night, where the Nebula is a little bit better, probably because it is using a bigger sensor, and it's also missing its purpose, because the main purpose of this camera is to add HD FEV transmission capabilities to micro and toothpick style quadcopters. I'm going to wrap up this quick video with some full sized footage of the Nebula Nano in different lighting situations. And by the way, a micro version should be available soon, and I'm going to check it out in the next couple of days. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. And consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.